So what I want to know is if this scene looks familiar to anybody. Mom, I'm home. Has that ever happened to you in your home? Yes. <laughs> something like that? So what do you say if one of your children comes home and does something like this? What are you doing? What are you doing? And what does your child say? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> and so what do you say? Pick that stuff up. Pick that stuff up. And what do they say? No. 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 <laughs> and what do you say? Yes. Pick it up now. And this is a power struggle. It happens every day in every home in our country. It happens between parents and children, between siblings, between coworkers, between employers and employees. It happens even between two people driving down the freeway in different cars. It's the most common form of misbehavior that occurs in childhood and one that we never seem to outgrow when we become adults. So tonight we're gonna to talk about why we all, and especially our children, love to power struggle how to get out of a power struggle when we get in one, and how to prevent them from happening in the first place. And everything I talk about here tonight will work on children of all ages, even those in adult bodies. So what we're gonna do tonight is talk about power struggles. And I'm gonna give you some background. I have a, a chart over here that I wanna just cover a little bit of background information first about why kids misbehave. <clears throat> they misbehave because they're trying to get certain needs met. And these are on your handouts also. They're trying to get their needs to, to belong, to feel loved, to feel powerful, to feel valuable, to feel like they have a place, and to experiment and explore. So all of us, all of us are born ne ha with needing to, having to get certain needs met. Okay? And these are the needs. And we're going to use our behavior to get these needs met from the time we're born. And we're gonna either do what our parents would call appropriate behavior or inappropriate behavior. But we're gonna do whatever works to get those needs met, okay? Further, if we're misbehaving, or let's, let's look at it this way, if your child is misbehaving, you can figure out why they're misbehaving and then apply appropriate corrective measures. So it's a systematic approach to discipline and behavior in children.